Hi, my name is Ray Chambers and I'm an IT teacher from Uppingham Community College in the Rutland area. Now what I'm going to show you today is the Touch Develop platform which is something newly released by Microsoft that allows you to build mobile phone and tablet applications uh, which you can actually publish to the Microsoft Store as well. Now all you need to do is go to touchdevelop.com and if you have a Windows Live account or uh, Google or even Facebook you can log in and once you press the run now you'll be able to actually log in but as I'm already logged in I'm going to run it in my browser now and you have your interface where you can access different materials you can scroll through the screen and so on now what I'm going to show you today is how to create your first script so if you go to create script I'm going to call this uh, bumblebees okay and create it so at the moment it gives you an automatic hello world script which is a new introduction to your program so when you run it it just posts the text hello world and you can even uh, show your students what happens when you change it so if I run that it says Raymond Chambers now what I want to show you today so I'm just going to cut this is how you can actually set up a board but before we need to do that uh, we're going to set up some variables now variables are important for your students to understand because a global variable is something that you can update from any part of your game and keep reusing so if I go into data we're going to set up a variable and we're going to pick the type as a board because it's our game board alright so board as the type and obviously our game board is going to be called board okay so we've got our board and uh, now I want the screen height and the screen width alright so I've got the board, the screen height, the screen width now I need to upload some pictures so if I go to art so I'm, I'm going down to a different section here art and I still want it to be a picture but we're going to call this uh, a French B because I've made a picture that I'll use and go down to upload so let's find my picture uh, where's the French B I made earlier there it is French B French B. So I'm going to publish that. Okay. Okay, so that one's published. And you may find sometimes you need to rename it, but if you look here, it's updated automatically. Now I'm going to add a background in because I want to have a beehive background. Beehive background. So watch, upload, choose your file, it's not in there so let's have a look in my main drive, there it is, beehive background, background image, background image, bearing in mind that other people can use your pictures and your sounds after you've uploaded them, so if you don't want anything sensitive on there please don't upload it, so publish that. Okay, so we now have our French B and our beehive background. Fantastic. And we've got our variables. So let's go back to the main code. So what we've got to do first is set what the screen height is. So screen height equals, so this is when you're assigning it. So if you assign it something, you use the colons and the equals. And the screen height is 768. Then we've got the screen width, which is 1280. But then moving on from that, we need to actually create our board. Okay? So if I go to board, I can select it there. Alright. I'm going to assign it. Alright. Because it's a picture and we're using using uh, like a, a board to say what it's going to be like go to media and we want to create a landscape board now if it was portrait and you wanted to use 
uh, the Windows Phone, you might have the width as 480 and the height as 800. But we're doing a tablet app for this one. So create a landscape board. And we've got 800 by 480. So it's set at default as a Windows Phone size. But we're going to change it for this. And you can actually use variables, so you can teach your students to pass in variables here. So data, all right, I want the actual width first, okay, and then I want the height. All right, so, okay. So now that's set up my board. What I want to do is set a background picture, so board, click on board. I want to set a background picture, so watch, set background is there, but what I can actually do is go along and there's set background picture. Need a picture, so all you do there is press the backspace key, go to art, alright, and what you can do is there's your background, so that's you set your background in. And then, if you want to add the B in now, what I can do is actually do the B on the next video. So this is just an introduction to show you how to set up the background. So watch now, if I come out of this and press run, okay, in fact, let me just remove that. Okay, board, post to wall, and there we go. So there's our canvas set up. So don't forget you need to actually post it to the wall so that the wall can see it. So I posted it to the wall there. Um, and in other circumstances, you can actually update the wall as well. So you can say wall update, but I'll show you more about that uh, later on. So this is just your first video that shows you how to set a background picture and how to post it to the wall. Uh, so I hope that's useful as a quick introduction. The next video will show you how to add a, another sprite into it so you can move it around.